What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. I got some big news for you guys that I think are going to affect a lot of you today. Now, this could be nothing at all, but something is telling me it got a little hot. Based on past updates that something crazy could be coming to us very, very soon, like within the next three to four weeks soon. So my advice to you guys with everything that's going on, and we're gonna tell, we're gonna cover it all in this video, but my advice to you guys right now, right now, is save your bookmarks. As we get into this, I want you guys to pay very close attention. We got some information to cover from previous updates with some patterns that I've recognized with updates. So again, big deal. Now, when we look at this upcoming summer event, I always, 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 after Butt Reynolds does his data mine, he does his thing, shouts out to the dude, but I always come back here and check his data mine spoilers to see if there's any updated information. And lo and behold, there was. As I mentioned before in the video that I made yesterday that the Song of the Sea event is coming and it looks like they're teasing the summertime skins. So we had these images here with the Song of the Sea, so you guys can see with two of the new skins, with the Karin skin and the Bologna skin. Now, I don't know if these were going to be pay-to-win skins, meaning if you had to pay for them to buy the skins, and there was just, you know, new cosmetics or came with new skills or whatever, or if it was something to where maybe you can, like, farm for the skins, but that's something that we'll just have to wait and see. But that's, that's not the important part. The important part is it seems to be a three-part side story. Now, the thing about the three-part side story that got me is in most cases of three-part side stories normally meant a three-week event. Now, the only other three-week events in the game that I remember, if you guys remember any other ones, you guys can just add that in the comment box, but the only ones that I remember specifically were limited banners and the Christmas event. So, let's get into that now. So if we fast forward all the way back to Eulogy of the Saint, 1121 was not when the actual event started. 1121 was Kiki Rot, but also during the Vildred drop rate up, which is what? A filler banner. Now, next week's banner happens to be what? Charlotte. Charlotte's side story. Filler banner for two weeks, right? So how the filler banners work, it'll be Charlotte for one week, and then the week after that, it'll be some filler hero, kind of like when we got whose side story did we get last? It was like Crow's side story or something, or whoever's side story it was, followed by some other hero that I don't remember because I don't really pay attention to the filler heroes. And then with that two-week side story, it gives us a potential for a new hero come the end of that filler banner, right? So after Charlotte's side story is over, it'll be a new hero, which is in approximately three weeks. Which if you pay attention to here, just at the 1121, it was a teaser at the end of this filler banner to kind of let us know that Eulogy for Saint was coming. So then once 1128 dropped, this was the DN banner. I know you guys remember DN, you know, this, there was a lot of controversy behind DN, you know. <laughs> And then the end came out, and guess what happened? Eulogy of a Saint was a three-week event where you had the opportunity to get the end and Basque. Over the course of the three weeks, it gave everybody ample time. They split it up in periods, so you were able to break this up, and you were supposed to farm specific materials for a set amount of time, and then you can farm the second half of materials over the second half of time. All right, so, and then we also, again, this was our first limited banner, and this is when they started the pity system because the pity system was not a thing pre-DN. Mind you, I did go 120 summons on DN, by the way. <laughs> but what's important to note here was that it was also a three-week event. Now, the part that had me kind of skeptical, I was like, well, but D, you know, if you're kind of taking the role of a scientist on here, you have to prove yourself wrong. So fast forward to the 1219 update content, and this was also another three week event where they gave us some pretty good stuff for like some logins. And then we're also were able to farm this event. And if you got lucky, we were able to actually farm transmit stones. I didn't get that. I mean, I did like 13 K socks for this and I just knew this was going to be the best event ever. It didn't work out for me. Okay. <laughs> I got a ton of bookmarks, but the, the, the transmit stone farm was not the business. I think I got like one or two, but it, it, it was pretty funny. So this is the part where it's kind of like, well, it could just be an event, but as I looked deeper into this, more and more information surfaced. So as we fast forward to 2.13, 2.13 was Luna. 
This was our second limited banner for those of you guys who were not here. This is also a 120. If you set, if you didn't summon in 120, you got Luna guaranteed on the 121st. Also another banner I went the full 120 on, but you know, neither here nor there. But the important part of this was this is when the So the Roses May Bloom side story came, which was also a three week event that kind of stacked each each week on top of the other with each week giving a unique piece of gear after you finished the particular event or gathered enough points. You guys starting to notice a pattern here. As we move forward to the next limited banner on 424, which was the Guilty Gear collab. Now this one was a four week event. If you guys remember, or if you guys weren't here for this, this was a four week event that gave us two limited banners over the four week period, plus a free soul bad guy. Well, I'm technically not free. This is probably the grindiest event I've ever experience in my life but we got so bad guy here and this was the limited content the big thing here is what i'm noticing as i look through the previous patch information is that it, the extended patches are the ones that had the limited banners tied into them. Now, if we take the Christmas event or other three weeks event, if I might've missed any, now the argument could be that doesn't make any sense because the Christmas event or whatever XYZ event was three weeks and there wasn't a limited banner to it. My argument to that is you have to look at the time scales as well. Now, what I mean by the time scales is look at how the limited banners are spaced. So if we look at the first limited banner, it was 1128. Now count the days down to the 213 banner, to the Luna banner, which was about 70-ish days. Now don't get specific on me, but it's around 70 days, nearly three months. And if we fast forward to 424, which was the next limited banner, it's also about 70 days. Nearly three months. So you guys starting to see a little pattern here? You know what I'm saying? A little pattern? Now, if we fast forward to today, today is July 11th. What are we getting close to? We're getting close to around 70 days. Now, if you look at the spacing and how this is supposed to pan out, we got the data mine today, okay? Which means that the new event could be coming soon, right? But it's not going to be next week because next week is the Charlotte banner, right? So Charlotte banner will be in there teased or they could tease the new event, or they could start it. But let's say they decided to do the new Song of the Sea event or summertime event in the middle of the Charlotte event or at the start of the Charlotte event or at the end of the Charlotte event, it will put us at right around the same time frame as the other limited events happen or limited banners happen. Because within this three week period from today till the end of July is about the same 70 day period, 70 ish day period that all of the other limited banners have happened within. So shout out to Epic 7X for this picture. But now the next question is, who exactly could the limited banner be if it is a limited banner? And to be honest, I think it'll probably be strays. If it's not strays and it has something to do with the sea, since technically it is the song of the sea, I'd be really surprised. And the reason why I think it's strays is because, and I think it's this strays, is because if you look at the marketing strategy, right, of how they handled DN. DN was there with the side story and the whole thing of DN's story was they explained basically how DN kind of became who she was today, well before Arbiter Vildred kind of stabbed her and it was over for DN. But her side story explained her backstory so you can understand what DN was like when she was growing up. This was a 20 years prior DN. So this is DN back then and now we have the DN today and hopefully we still get the Moonlight DN where she's the adult version, I think, which would be really, really cool. And I really, really hope that they do that. But that's how this side story panned out. And then if we look at Strays, it's easy to say that, oh, well, they scrapped this image. Because remember in the Dev Notes interview, they're like, oh, well, we decided to do this design for Strays because this is finally what we settled on. And none of them addressed this image. But this image could have been Strays before he became fully possessed by the sword. So... If they decided to do a limited banner, they could structure this story-based banner. They could probably throw Pavel in there as a three-star like they did for Basque. And they could take this as an opportunity to explain how Strays became who he is today by giving us the option, again, to summon him over a three-week event, right? So with the summertime event in there, and then we have Strays as the limited banner, then we get the Strays side story kind of explaining how he became who he is. Then that would open everything up for them to explain and tie us into a new threat 
right, as we get into the middle of episode two, right, which would then segue us into episode three. When I look at this, this initial design concept that we've been seeing of strays could still be a thing, and this could absolutely be the limited banner that we're waiting for, but only time will tell, so we will have to wait and see. But the important thing to pay attention to is now that we got the Charlotte banner, Heavy Lies the Crown, so it'll probably be like the fillers before. It'll be one week Charlotte, one week filler. And with that, I highly, highly advise, unless you guys are just aching for Charlotte, and, and I think Charlotte will probably receive a buff on the next balance patch. I could be wrong, but I think she's one of the candidates that definitely deserve a little bit of, you know, here's some love. <laughs> so I think that is definitely possible. But I'm highly advising, especially now at this point, paying attention to the pattern and how all of the previous limited banners have been done that you guys start saving your bookmarks today. If it's just, if, it, if we're just crying wolf right now and there's no limited banner, I think it's better to be safe than be sorry and then we're just summoning and summoning and summoning and they're like, hey, surprise! And then you're looking for your pocketbook, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so give yourself the best option, especially if Strays ends up being OP or the limited banner or whoever comes out for the limited happens to be OP. Give yourself the best opportunity to at least go triple S or double S or at least get two copies of the unit. Because as we learned with Biken, it's best to have two copies of the limited heroes instead of just one fully imprinted. So anyway, guys, um, that's all I wanted to cover today, guys. I woke up and I got into all of this information and I was like, holy crap. And I realized the pattern. And then after looking at the data mine and the spoilers for what's going to be coming, as soon as I saw that there was a three-part side story, I'm like, wait a minute, three-week event? That could mean limited banner. So I had to go back through, comb through, find all the other <laughs> information for the other banners and really look at previous content to see if a pattern had emerged so I can relay it to you guys because, listen, I'm trying to look out for you. <laughs> so you can have the bookmarks ready to go so that way if you want to spend cash do your thing spend more cash triple s whatever you need to do but leave yourself in the best position possible and especially right now it's it's a little bit a little bit's almost over it's going to lead into more filler save your bookmarks so you can be prepared you guys know we got ml ravi coming up in two weeks anyway so you guys want to be ready for that as well if you guys are going to spend i know you guys are probably going to want to buy some mystic packs and stuff so focus your cash if you're spending over there to try to get your Ravi and then save the rest of your bookmarks that you're getting from here until whenever until they drop the limited banner or at least we find out when that limited banner is coming but anyway guys that's all i want to cover today thank you guys so much for tuning in as always it's your boy demon bring you guys another video if you guys got any questions comments concerns as well definitely let me know in the comment box if you guys are looking to support the channel even more, then make sure you guys mash that join button and become a member. And with that being said, guys, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.